How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. It's about that time we got to get the log splitter out. It's been covered up here since actually last winter, last fall. So I already know I'm going to have some trouble with it because uh, I actually tried to uh, get it fired up and I couldn't get it fired up. So we're going to try it again. I'm going to check everything and uh, see if we can get the old machine started back up. You know, it's best to uh, put these machines inside, but if not, you want to make sure you get them covered up. So this one's been covered up pretty good. First thing you want to do is check to see if we got gas. It does have gas in it. Make sure the button's turned on. And make sure the choke is on. So I'm just going to pull it a few times to see if we can get it to fire. No fire. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you guys remember, we had them spark plug testers. We're going to check the spark because before I had trouble with the coil on this thing. So I'm going to get a spark plug tester and we're going to see if it's got spark. That's going to be our first thing. Okay, I have a couple different ways of checking this. First is a, just basically a spark checker and this plugs into the wire. If you don't have one of these, I'm going to show you how you can do it without this tool. So you're just basically going to plug this onto your spark plug. And this piece here, you're going to plug into the, this side of your... And then you're going to pull your cord and look for the light. And as we can see, we have no light, no light lighting up. So now that doesn't always mean that the coil is bad. You have a little shutoff switch right down here. Let me show you shut off. little better view there I'll show you that this doesn't have any spark on it Nothing. and here's your shutoff switch there's a little plug a little wire right behind that switch I'm gonna unplug that wire just in case that switch might be bad because it doesn't feel right Okay, I got it unplugged now. Let's see if it has anything now. No, no spark. So, let's do this one more way. Just to double check. Take a spark plug wrench, socket, stick it on here. Let's take the spark plug out. I think this has a fairly new spark plug. Like I said, I had trouble with it last year. So we're going to put it on the side of the motor. We want to ground out the tip onto one of them bolts. And we got nothing. Nothing again. So we know that our coil is pretty not. It's pretty much not working. So I do believe I have a spare coil. So I'm going to go get a coil. Let's see if we can get one put on this. No use in putting that on. So I'm gonna get some tools and look for my coil. Okay, the first thing I want to do here is, is just get this cover off the top. It's a little bit, uh, it gets, it's just got some clips. You just pull it off. Get that off. You got a few bolts around this outside edge here. We're gonna take off. And what that's gonna allow us to do is to take this cover off of here. So.
Looks like there's only three bolts in this plastic cover. Okay, now that you got the three bolts, this in here I got it loose, but yeah, I got it out of there. Now that you got the three bolts out of the top, I think the gas cap can stay on, but the oil has to come off. Oh, we got one in the front. On this one side here. Okay, you got your three bolts up in the top up there. This one has one in the front here on the side that I gotta take out. I think that one, okay. You have three bolts on the top you gotta take out. Then you gotta pull your oil cap off. And then take one bolt in the front up here out. One long one in the front. So you get about four bolts there. Don't forget the bolt in the front has a little spacer. Which goes right on there. It goes between the tank and the motor. So now we have to pull this cover off. Looks to be about four bolts. Once we get down in here, we'll know whether there's been a mouse in here. Because sometimes you get mice. And they'll chew the wires up. There's always something that goes wrong. Now you want to keep track of your bolts and make sure you get the right ones. If they're different lengths, you want to make sure they go in the same holes where they come out of. In my case all these bolts are the same size so they'll go wherever. We should be able to pull this top off and you can see your oil dip comes out with it. Now set it off to the side. We'll find the old coil wire which is right here. Make sure my coil wire is not destroyed. It's not. So I'm going to say it's just the coil. So we're going to go ahead. I found the, the other coil. I found another coil. So we're going to put this coil on here. And uh, normally, if uh, we have like a cleanup day at our township, and if somebody comes in with an old lawnmower, it's got a good coil on it, I pull the coils off and bring them home with me. You never know in this situation if you're going to need a coil. So you got two bolts in your coil here. I'm just going to pull them off. Now normally a coil, uh, when they go bad, they basically just go bad, but sometimes they can get to where they're missing. So this will be our old coil. We're going to set our new coil down on here. We're going to go ahead and stick our bolts back in there, but now we have to, once we get our bolts down on here, we're going to have to... Uh, if this will work, I think it'll work. We're gonna have to gap this coil.
So that coil is not going to work. It's not the same coil. So we're going to have to find us another coil. Okay, we got our new uh, coil. Um, we're going to go ahead and get it mounted on here. It's uh, about 42 bucks for this coil. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get it mounted on. It's just as simple as putting the bolts in it that you had taken out of it, put them back in. Not much to this. Anybody can do it. You know, your biggest problem probably is getting all the stuff off the top and getting down to it. And what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to gap this about ten thousandths uh, of an inch from the magneto with a filler gauge. Everybody yelled at me because I did one on the uh, I did a uh, video on the uh, oh it was a trimmer weed trimmer or weed whacker. You guys all have your own names for everything. I know that and I understand that but I'm an old redneck and that's just how uh, I talk. So now I put the filler gauge in behind there and you, this is a very flimsy blade. This blade is so flimsy it's unreal. And I could put it in there and I can push. And that's the wrong way you say push but that's how I say it and we'll just Go ahead and do both sides like that. And we'll push that thing up against there. And then we're going to give them a little bit of a snug. Now, it just don't have to be uh, so perfect. Uh, about ten thousandths of an inch is okay. Pretty simple. All right, now all we got to do is get our little wire here. This little wire right here that we had taken off the bottom of the switch. I'm going to have to take it back down here and get it plugged in so we'll have an on and off switch it's a little tight down in there but I think we can manage here and then uh, once we get this on there all we gotta do is get the cover put back on it I move you guys over there so I can get down to this switch down here And you don't want this wire laying up against the uh, motor. You don't want your wire laying up against the motor because it will melt it. It just has a plastic coating on it. Okay. And then we're going to bring our coil back around this side. Stick it down through here. And... I see they didn't give me a boot with this one, but that's okay. We'll get another boot and put on it later. Now we just got to put everything else on here. As you guys, I don't know if you watched the video where I put the new string in my log splitter. I did a video on putting the new string because that one was really getting worn out. So, basically just got to get everything bolted back down. So, when I get this all done... Let's get you guys back in here and see if she'll fire up. All right, the big test. Let's see if she's going to fire up.
it sounds like it's missing just a little bit there it might need the carburetor cleaned but it is gonna run it's a lot better than what it was for sure now this process can be used I think I said it once before this is the same as a lawnmower motor it's just a little five horsepower Briggs and Stratton motor uh, nothing to it but we got spark so uh, I did put a little gas in it and everything so might have a little dirty gas but I'll get a new another cover for that plug wire I got one on the other coil so we'll get it put on there well at least it's running that's the main thing so I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe leave me a thumbs up thumbs down or a comment if you'd like till next time